Hello and how are you? My name is Mohind Umbara and I'm coming to our fourth lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. Uh, we always do 40 minutes, so I'll start our timer. Without wasting much time, let's go straight into our today's business. So in the previous lecture, we started mastering uh, the stock records UI. We created even the stock record details page and uh, we mastered this uh, listing, okay? Uh, master this listing however even the most latest record is the one that is on top all right so we see that we want to put filters whereby you can we should be able to filter maybe by filter by by the by the record type filter by the, the category filter by the cycle filter by subcategory something like that so I want to be able to do these kind of filters. So without waste much time, let's go straight and do it. Right, so we're going to put here actions. So we shall go to our app bar. And then we're going to put here um, actions. Uh, sorry, I go to what? Records here. Then let's go to app bar. Okay. So we're going to put here actions and then I'm going to put here, um, put here maybe filter, okay, filter menu, uh, pop, pop up menu, let's see this guy will help me, yeah it has helped me, so it's going to be a filter pop up menu, so when someone clicks here they should be able to filter, alright before we go to that let's go ahead and uh, uh, first press here some space like I'm, I'm going to explain it here so then you put here size box and put width and then put 10 right so the advantage of copilot is like you don't even need to know how to code that much uh, so we're going to put there uh, so this is our pop-up menu the one that you're seeing here uh, so this menu can help us it's going to help us to enable I mean to it's going to help us to do different things like filtering and sorting Okay, so uh, the first thing we're going to do, I mean, for example, let's see, uh, so it, I mean, let's let's let, let's see. Uh, okay, it is, it is. We just simply put actions and then put pop up menu, and then this pop up menu takes an item builder. So in this item builder, open bracket and put context, and then open the card bracket next to it, and then return. So when you return, you return a list of what a list of uh, pop up menu item. And this will take an item and what and a, a, a display or which we call a child and then uh in it will put on select so on select is like when someone selects then you can go ahead and check the value something like that as you make decisions so in this menu we're going to put uh, different things for example that are going to help us uh to do some filters eh? uh so you may s okay let's let's look at different things that you may need to know for example, we can see, uh, so we can begin by sorting, uh, we can begin by sort by date, sort by date, uh, ascending, ascending, so we can begin by sort by date, ascending, and then we can put here, sort by date, sort by date, descending, indicate this one. So it's going to be one, two, sort by date, descending. Uh -huh, so I mean we to have sort by date ascending, sort by same descending. Uh -huh, so after doing that, the next thing I'm going to add, I'm uh, going to add a uh, filter, uh, sort by total sales, sort by total sales. Maybe you want to see the most top sales, something like that. And then let's go ahead and add now the filter. So that's one, two, three. Uh -huh. So we're going to begin by adding, for example, we're going to add filter by by category filter. So it's going to be number four. Filter by category. Uh, filter by type. Yeah, that is good. Filter by type. Uh -huh. So the fifth one can just be here and just to comment. I say by category so copilot will do it for me so filter by 
category so I just simply write here constant then compiler will do it for me filter by category filter by subcategory filter by subcategory mm -hmm. what else filter by cycle filter by filter by cycle right. so I think that one to filter by all right so if you come here we have filter by ascending or descending and then you have here a uh, filter by total cells and then filter by what by i mean these are sorting sort filter by type filter by category something like that so let's now do the real logic okay <coughs> we begin with sorting so let's go ahead and do the sorting so sorting uh so i can we, we can sort at one thing at a time so let me put here a string called sort uh sort type so sort type i can by default i can keep it as empty so it can have that default one uh so i do here if someone clicks if someone clicks one okay if someone clicks one going to sort Yeah, if, if someone clicks one, I just sort by what? By ID. So this is when someone clicks ascending. Sort by date ascending or by creating date ascending. So since I can just simply put here, sort by what? By ID and by ID. And then I come here and do set state. Okay. So sort, so the second one is Sort by what? Sort by date descending. I'm going to come here and do the same thing. And it's going to be like the opposite. Okay. So this guy is doing it for me. Doing it all for me. <laughs> Let me first remove these other. Because they are going to make sense for me. For now. Alright. So. Uh, we have here. Sort by ID. So it's going to do sort by ID and then update state. Then you have a sort by, I mean, descending. That's the second one. And then the third one is sort by the total cells. So the total cells. So the filters we are going to do now the logic manually. Okay. If I save. Now if I come here and click on filter by date ascending. So when I click here, you see the the are the most let the old the oldest one is coming first. If I come here and sort by date descending. The latest one will come first okay so i go ahead and do filter by total cells and you click on total cells you see the one with total cells comes first filter by total cells uh so we have here filter by total cells ascending you can also do filter by total cells descending okay filter by total cell this is ascending and you can also do filter by total cells descending filter by total cell descending okay so uh, let me make this one number what number number eight okay so I put here uh, else if is eight eight six eight I do filter by total cell descending on the set state <clears throat> so if I want to descend you can, you can as well just make this one the first and then this one the second it will do the reverse okay so all right so that's it okay so if I come here have filter by total cells ascending filter by the 
descending here okay filter by total cell descending yeah total cell ascending okay i think that's okay i think that's okay all right we proceed so finished by filtering by total cell so if we go to filter by type okay so let us do filter by type okay <clears throat> so i'm going to put here uh, filter by type filter by type filter by type so i'm going to create here a bottom sheet that is going to be shown when someone clicks filter by type okay so where is filter by type filter by type is number what filter by type is number four so i shall come to number four okay number four okay so i'm going to <coughs> show filter by type bottom sheet okay so i'm going to filter i'm going to show the bottom sheet of filter by type so i go ahead and create this method here and i just simply return okay so you can be able to see this okay so you have filter by type this and then filter by type this one okay so you can this just uh, you show bottom sheet let me show you i'm going to explain it okay so when you click filter by type we want to show this bottom sheet here and then we display different types okay so what you have to do yeah i have to call this bottom sheet show bottom sheet so filter by type it should be number four uh filter by type it's number four here let's see if the four is not hijacked by another thing so if value is equal to four it is the toast we just put it by type Okay. let's come back i think there is some issue as i see by type there are two filter by type i'm seeing by type there are two <laughs> why we need to restart our application or please restart the app oh the application stopped running <laughs> let's restart the app Okay, so come at cells, filter, filter by what? By type. So, wait, filter by type here, we show the bottom sheet. Okay, so let's go ahead and organize this bottom sheet properly. Let's remove this toast. Filter by type, so think the bottom sheet. Let me wrap it in a container and give it some what? Some some decoration okay and then with color of white yeah so filter by type we have this kind of i wanted it to be <coughs> uh i need it to be a little bit smaller So 
can just simply put here column I think okay so <clears throat> so bottom sheet scrollable false so it's a builder and then with your column and then you can put here maybe a text and then say filter by type then you can center this something like that okay you can put here some divider then a good filter by type okay can put here maybe some size box and put eight or five and then put here eight or five maybe eight of ten eight of ten something like that all right so filter by type is here filter by type yeah there you go all right so yeah so i want like when someone clicks there they should filter by type uh so here if you say all we shall clear everything so i'm going to have sales so we have your sales filter by sales then we shall set this filter by type to sell and then uh we have sell we have um, what types do we have let's get them here we have we have sales we have sell we have damage we have sell we have damage uh we have what we have expired and then we have lost lost then this one can be scrollable let me make it a list view i uh -huh, have lost what else do we have we have uh, internal use and then others all right so uh -huh, so you can come here filter by type so you can say damage then to show the damage for me no let's work on, on that now let's work on that let's work on that so I want when you filter, you should call the init uh, method so I can be able to initialize, I mean to to update, okay, my init. So let's call my init every time we, uh, we click on filter by. So I can clear my init, clear my init, clear my init. So you can be able to do a new preparation. So I'm going to create here a list called, okay, so filter by type. For example, this type is already in the in the what in the in the database so i'm going to create here a string called where oh, let me put it here ah, this copilot knows what i'm going to do it called where so I'll check so where by default will be one so where one so i'll check if i'll check if filter by type is not empty I'll go ahead and put where to that house I put one. Okay, so okay, I can just remove this. Okay, so if filter by type is not empty, okay, I can go ahead and put uh, my where like that, like where type is go to the type that will have been put there. Okay, so else I make it one. I, I will set it something like that okay so then here we shall pass the where and make that where there so i think that we shall be able to achieve that and then it updates so if i come here filter by type by type let's for example say sales i say sales which is not working <laughs> let's see all right 
it is working but it works like late uh so let's see how we can fix that uh so i'm going to come here i'm going to come here to our uh, uh what let me put here something called uh, string called what uh, filter text filter text so if it's this one i'll go ahead and say filter text equals uh, filter by type and then i put the type i say maybe type just to let me just say type okay so this i'll add it let me add it here on the title and the subtitle do you have subtitle here no um we can come here in our list here in our list separator on our list view um we surround it with a column and then we go ahead and give it expanded like this All right so i'll go ahead and be here this i'll go ahead and put here some text Stop there. Well, I'm going to be checking if there is some filter text. I go ahead and display it here. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and check if it is not em if it is empty. I should I should hide it. So if it is empty, I hide it. If it's not empty, I display it. So if I come here, filter by type. I go and say sec I mean uh, filter by type and say maybe cells so you should be able to see it there. So let us see now where we are setting this by by type. So when I click on uh, on cells, the type is what is cell, and then I go ahead and remove the model and then I have to call the init. I'm not calling it here. I have called the init so it can update my what? My init. So it can be able to do what? To update. Okay? So it can be able to update. Also here, I call my init so it can be able to update here. Alright? So let me call this one also here. Yeah. So I think that's fine. So let's go ahead and do that. So filter by type, I put cells. So you see? So filter by type cells. But it is repeating it let me let me let me just this word text is it's repeating it i'll just simply filter by type cells i think that's it why is it repeating it huh? type cell okay supposed to be yeah i think that's okay filter by type set, but i don't know why it is repeating it or maybe you repeat a bit there okay yeah i think we repeat a bit here yeah Maybe you can surround it with the uh, heart. Let me remove this row.
All right. So that will show us that there's a filter, filter by type, cells, uh, filter by type. Expired. Uh -huh. So now it is not removing these things. Okay, it is not removing them. So let's go ahead and uh, see how we implement that. Okay, so where? So we go ahead and pass here our where. I think our where is not being implemented. So here when you're getting local items, you are not passing where. So let's pass where. Yeah, and also here I'm getting block items to pass our uh, where. Yeah. Mm, block items most especially. I think we need to add that one also in our heart in our generator. Otherwise. Uh, so filter by type where damage you see it shows the damages only. If you want to see the one which of uh, uh, what filter by type um uh, what um cells uh cells which is the cells only if i want to see all filter by type or clear all it removes all so it's supposed to remove all when it is all so i put here if it contains all a filter by type is all filter by type when it is empty I have to also clear this let's play it back to nothing oh, wait yeah so there you go so that's filter by type you can leave it there but you can make it much more interesting uh let's go ahead and filter by what by category filter by category so we're going to put here a uh, category filter okay we're going to put category filter so for now i'm not going to combine them but you can work on the combining them like if it contains these, how many did I make? Did I lose in this particular thing? Something like that. Or at least we shall combine them maybe in another in another what? In another version. So let's put here. Uh, stock category model. I say filter category equals to that one. Now I want when you click on filter by category, you should launch the category picker. And then pick the category something like that and then the initialization so here i'm going to check if that uh dot id is not zero then i know that maybe there is some filter by category something like that okay okay so i just put andy category filter by category equals to that one Okay, so I put here and the category ID equals to that. So I go ahead and add filter by category and I add this one. Okay, something like that. You get it. So I put here else. I go ahead and clear the text. Something like that. Eh? Is, is that good? No, I don't think. I don't think that's not good. That's not good. Let's just leave it there. All right, so let's go ahead and the. Uh, do see so category and then let's go ahead and do that logic so when we click on filter by category filter by category filter by category is on number five so we shall come here to number five so i'm going to do the category picker if you still remember we had this where we are saying category equals to what wait so i can just simply say uh stock you can even do it from here let's see 
stock stock category model i can say temporary category I give it question mark equals to await okay okay equals to await let me put it asynchronous equals to await get the two this is question mark supposed to be here because await get the two then put stock category category stock Store categories screen. Hmm? Store categories screen, and the parameters are going to be um, the parameters are going to be is picker. And set it to true, and then I check if if temporary is not null, and then I go ahead and select this category, and I call the init method. So like this, and I set this category, and then something I set to set here. All right, so filter by category. Click there, filter by category. Go ahead. You see, it launches categories. You select a category is supposed to be is speaker is speaker something like this let's go back okay is speaker and true. so filter by category is speaker you see filter by category so those are that's the category so again let's go ahead and try it filter by category when you select another category there is no product of that kind okay so we cannot be able to filter by category so in the filter by category we'll have to show it we need to show it filter by category let's go ahead and <coughs> filter by category so let's go ahead and remove this word filter by type and just replace it with category okay. filter by category Category. Okay, so in the categories, I design that. Go ahead and remove filter text and make it to be have that by type. Uh, filter text, just say filter text is just be putting the filter text here. It will be just showing the filter by foodstuffs. So that is it. Category food stuff. Food stuff. Okay. So that one will be filtered by whatever. This one will be um so type that this that like this. Okay, so I hope you get it. 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 Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it better. You can do it better. Let's go ahead and do filter by subcategory. Filter by subcategory. So maybe we need to put also the clear filter something somewhere. Okay, so filter by subcategory. Filter by subcategory. Let's remove this and we just be putting the charts to just be replacing whatever is there. The where just be replacing we just will do one by one for now all right so filter filter by subcategory filter by subcategory filter by subcategory subcategory so down here sub uh, Stock subcategory model. It's going to be stock subcategory model. So filter by subcategory like this. Alright, so stock subcategory model. And then you come here and check if stock subcategory model is not empty. If stock subcategory ID is not empty. I go ahead and do that 
uh, like this just place everything here stock subcategory and i put like that so let's go ahead and implement that let's go ahead and implement that uh, so i'll go ahead and and what i'll go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do what let's go ahead and and add this it's just going to be like uh, so subcategory is number what is number six so i'll come here and just copy this eh? and copy this of number five and just come and duplicate it here number six whereby it's going to be a uh, stock subcategory model and then i'm going to pick from stock sub categories screen and then going to be temporary filter okay so just going to be what uh, filter filter subcategory to that so i'll be able to and then i call the init and then i set state right so let's go ahead and try okay come here filter by subcategory you click there you have subcategories when you select you see subcategories that so it does not exist uh let's go ahead and uh, change it and change it to serious you see subcategory serious it exists okay, so that is beautiful uh so we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed uh to cycles i think yeah let's just do cycles i don't know cycles just almost as uh, going to be financial period eh? financial period is going to be almost the same so i'll just come and copy this guy here and come and put here so let me go ahead and call this one financial period model then i'm going to put here uh I'll again come and put uh, financial period screen okay and then we pass the speakers yes now this one does not allow the pickers so let's go ahead and add that logic so let's just go to the one which has those params Okay, like like this one just go and do that logic and copy it and put it in this financial model and pass this one uh, this the params uh, come here to init state uh, so come here to init state init state come and put it here this one is picker a boolean make it false all right so let's go to, to what to an item click and go ahead and get the financial states and return okay so now let's come here to financial what let's come here to financial i mean let's come back now to our picker so I'm going to put here, here a filter of what? A filter of financial, financial, finance, period. Uh -huh. Financial period model. So filter cycle. And then I come and equate it to this one. Like this yep 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 and then i call the init method come to init method and check if financial period is not null uh, let me make sure that this uh this what this this model has financial period id it has it okay so you can do what you know how much you made in the setting here all right so 
Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, that's it. That's it. Let's go to our home and pass those empty params for the financial period. Yeah, so that's it. So, ah, what you're still trying? Seeing here some error. There's the error. Okay, see a lot of errors here. Dear financial period in many instances. Huh? Stock subcategory, ah, a good financial period. Oh my god. Financial period itself. Okay, this one. Gender report, I remove anything. Remove this one. Remove this one. All right, so that's it. I save. Come back to stock records. Yeah, come here and do filter by subcategory. I mean, so that one we're done with it. Filter by cycle. You select a cycle and see everything is okay. It is being the, like things in that cycle. So you can be able to cycle. So one more last thing I want to put here. Uh, the total. Okay. I want to put the total down there. So let's go ahead and put here. Uh, integer called total cells. Uh, so let's go ahead and after doing this, we have to calculate for the total sales. Uh -huh. So I look through these items as I int pass and then I add the total sales. Uh, so let's come here to our expanded here at the end of the list. Uh, at the end of this expanded list, that's the end of the list. I'm going to put here our total sales. Okay. So that is the total sales, just a container, and then you put the total sales. So that's the total sales. However, this <laughs> this button is hiding now things for us. How are we, where are we going to put it? <laughs> where are we going to put it? Hmm? This floating button, how are we going to remove it from there? We come and search it here because it's hiding things for us. Or well, let me let's just put the floating button in actions. Eh? How about that? Ta -ra 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 -ra. Ta actions. -y. Uh, before the after uh, before the filter put button. There we go. That is our button there. Yeah. I don't know that is visible. <laughs> uh, let's make it let's increase its size maybe. Font I mean size, make it that. So it means that all our buttons have to put them up there because to confuse other users. So when you refresh, you see the total is being calculated here. So if you want to see the total that you made in, in, in cells, just come and say filter by type and select cells. You see the total that you've made in cells. If you want to see the total that you've made in um, in uh, in what? In uh, others, just come filter by type and say other. Hey, why is it not working? Hey, the cycle is locking it. Eh? Yeah, so I think we need to put the else part so I can have one at a go. Right, put the else part. Okay. 
Okay. So I put else, 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 else. One will override the other. So let's go ahead and see what is made in, in, for example, in damage, in others, in other. You see, you've made zero and it is zero. And then you say maybe filter type uh, by damage zero zero. So you did not make any cell. Or maybe you can put some kind of total loss. Total loss. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's it for this. You can leave this module there. I think we have exhausted it for now. We have details, we have everything there. All right, let's meet in the next lecture where we're going to do the mastering of what the products module. See you there.